I've been expecting you. Relax, Einstein. I say that to all the Rocky Mountain Canaries that come in here in the middle of the night soaking wet. I'm as dry as anything else in here. Check this guy out. I was hopping up to a place somewhere around here, listening to a meeting about myself on the car radio. Of course, a meeting. It's a secret artist retreat no one's ever heard of. Of course, no one. It's called Greener Passage. I've heard of it. I could tell you how to get there. But you look like you could use a little trim. Maybe a haircut. So anyway, I own my publisher one more book. But I killed off the main character in that series. Although, according to what they were saying at that meeting on the car radio, he's still alive in the French version. So then John Deagle, a real ass, mind you, but he's got money. Anyway, this John Deagle ass starts up some blithering about ghostwriters. From what I could gather, this good times joker with the wads of cash wants to use the- Wads of cash? Hey, more chips than you could dip, friend. And well, this, this nincompoop- I'm a pretty Cracker Jack chip dipper, friend. Well, this nincompoop wants to ghostwrite my, uh, well, Ramsey was solid as always, and my it's agent Petula really off, went all out pitching the new now, project. Now, Titterton. This is a lot of information you're broadcasting, Jack. These people, wads of cash, a French version. It is, isn't it? Usually I don't realize until after I've left. Oh, and then. And then, you place a telephone call, and certain people go boom. People you've let your hair down to. Wait a minute. You're Bill Barber. Why are you behind bars? Ha! I caught your little artists on the radio stint. Who do you think took you off the air? It wasn't Benny. Where the fuck is Benny? I... I don't... I don't... I don't... There's only one secret artist retreat no one's ever heard of around here, and your train dream guaranteed you'd get lost. What train dream? I made that up, you fool. True? I got lost? But it's all just part of my <laughs> Your illegal fishing team is stepping on toes, good fellow. Local toes with history in these parts. <sighs> good fellow. A misnomer if I ever heard one. Greener Pastures Artist Retreat. I welcome you to Greener Pastures, Dr. Goodfellow. It's Everything uh, is set up here. We're on, and I have a gift for you. It's an old shoe from a horse, uh, a Caledonian day horse from the 1800s era. That's from right around here. I don't know what to say. Oh, it's it's nothing really. Uh, a mere token I found when but a child. <laughs> but at the same time, 
priceless to a man with uh, certain inklings, as they say. My things are in the trunk. Of course, a man needs to take care of things. I'll hold this for you. Give me a hand. Tippy tippy tap type, tip tap toe. Where in the room does my typewriter go? This feels like isn't, and this feels like not, but right over here feels like this is the spot. Now the artist may bask in the glory of uninterrupted artistic peace of mind, space, and time. To create his own thing for sure, but maybe not entirely uninfluenced by his current surroundings and the mind engulfing history thereof. After all, one hopes these people didn't live and die here for nothing. One hopes for many things in life. Things couldn't be off to a better start. I'm really, really sorry. I, I know I'm not supposed to intrude, but you never answered my question about whether you like mimosas. It's the perfect weather for them. I'm sort of in the middle of things right now, but I was thinking of going for a walk. Not today, but a few days from now, after I get back from Tub Town. You might want to tag along. That would be just the thing, Dr. Goodfellow. Mister. A noble exchange between learned minds. I'll begin with the preface of my treatise on local history and we can have our mimosas upon return. Uh, if you don't mind, old chum, I think I'd rather stick to something uh, a little more authorly. I don't know why I keep calling you doctor. I must be thinking of someone else. 
and maybe just stick to the frontispiece for the first outing. Ah, maybe I'll try that too. It's this port credit case. The double murder. Yeah. They got a fragment, eh? And there's a print on it. No way. They've got DNA. Wow. And these guys are trying to distract me, pulling me left, pulling me right, pulling me back, pulling me forward. Bang, bang, bang. In my head. Yeah. Kids, are we he's covering. But I just gotta, he's gotta focus, way. man. Like I can say he's in my fucking head. Focus straight exactly. ahead. Straight ahead. The blinders. We gotta it. do something about it. I need the blinders. Right on, man. And that's it. Digging away, chipping away, digging away, chipping away. We just know what gonna, we. We know what we want. We know who we gotta nail. I'm gonna keep on my same line. Yeah. Let's do it, man. Sing into the choir. <laughs> That's awesome. They're dirty. They're dirty. For it's sure, the kid is going to break. This insurance thing? What I'm like. Yeah. yeah. So we just gotta help him. Yeah. Break him. It's bunk. Why do I always have to be the good cop? <laughs> <laughs> no worries, I'll be the good cop. Oh, fuck, okay, let's go. Let's do it. Hi, I'm Maddie. Richard. You worried about the midges? That? I live over there, across the field and through the trees. Used to, I'm visiting my parents. I've never been over that way. It looks nice. <laughs> it is nice, yes. Getting away from it all? Taking some time from the salmon run? Felt like the right time to visit. Maybe a bit of the salmon thing too. I've been sneaking off and losing myself in the local history. There's a tiny library in town. What's that? You've been to- Where do you think I got this? But- Even I don't have this one. Is it new? You can have it. A housewarming present. Do you like mimosas? <laughs> I should be getting back. I just wanted to see who is staying at Old Castler's Castle. I saw your chimney smoke. Are you all alone up here? Not always. People come up, artists, to work completely and totally undisturbed. It's called Greener Pastures now. Really? Sounds like a place you'd go to die. J.D. Goodfellow, the author, just arrived this week. He's the first, truth be told. Never heard of him. And how long have you been up? Who is he talking to? In business here. Hard to tell. I mean, who works the farm? Uh, well. To be continued then, eh? Yes. When will you? I'll be around. Ramsey, old chap. JD here. I've decided to honor my contract. I'm going to give you the last Mahoney installment, post haste. Ghost Rider? Who said anything about a Ghost Rider, Ramsey? Why would I need a Ghost Rider? Willie, you are right. The case of the two Mahoney's gives us a good shot at nailing down the rights to one of them. In fact, I spoke with the translator, and he says he did it on purpose. The rest of the mistakes 
with just for plausibility. Men have been executed for the crime of less than perfect fidelity to an original manuscript. <laughs> We're a little more easygoing than that. coming up look here old beef this was never the deal what about my artistic peace of mind space time this isn't what I call basking in it oh gosh 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 no I just wanted to remind you our walk just a few days from now oh, yeah oh yeah of course it's nothing really just uh, the local history Say, Wednesday afternoon? Sound good? Yes, my schedule is uh, Wednesday. Yeah, that'd be fine. Yeah, oh yeah, of course. Glad you can make He invited me to go for a walk. His idea, apparently. You should take along some historic pamphlets. The new one should put him over the top. I have a dark suit that would work perfectly for pamphlet concealment, but I don't want to show up dressed the same as him. <laughs> I don't know. I'd look silly. No. I'll place the pamphlet strategically along our path ahead of time so I can pull one out from behind a bush at the right moment. Oh, that's really good. It is good, and I have a few days to plan the placing of the pamphlets. You look like someone we know. Is that a pipe? <laughs> I'm gonna do you a favor. I'm gonna let you engulf my mind with the local history. I know you've been wanting to do that. How's the fishing up here? Quite a story. Was that an episode of Mannix or Barnaby Jones? Well, this is me. What about those drinks? I'll have to take a pass on that, old chum. I need to get to the old tar box. But we haven't even touched the pond. We'll get to it. I promise.
and see what it's like in here. Now I have an excuse. A piano. Oh, maybe we shouldn't. We shouldn't be in here. shouldn't be here. I think there's a contract. Nope. Well, it seems to be about us. Rich Bird and Mitty? Let me see that. Maybe it doesn't have to be the greatest novel. What have you done? This is mind-boggling. How is this possible? How can he do this? Wouldn't a peg good fellow for the counter espionage type? It's way beyond that. We're on the page. This is right now. I don't think we should panic. Granted, I've never seen anything like this before, but there's always an explanation. This doesn't leave the room. Not a soul for miles around can ever know of this. You can count on me. Remember, I took you fishing. What the deuce are you doing? How could you do this? How could I not do this? It's perfect. I've been stuck for months. And here you are with the digging and the spying. I can't believe my luck. It's heaven sent. Ah. Oh, and what are you gonna do? Take back your horseshoe? 